Hi everybody, this is Susie and welcome to another Wild Orchid Crafts video on behalf of the Wild Bunch. I'm actually recording off of my webcam on my new computer, so um, forgive me if I'm kind of like, uh, kind of stop and go a little bit. I'm trying to get used to how to do this. Uh, what I have for you here um, is something uh, very special. Um, I made this for my husband and um, I really am excited to share it with you, so here we go. Okay, um, and what I have here uh, is a keepsake card. I just want to make sure that you can see that, so there we go. And the funny thing is, is what I use to make this. Um, you ever go into like Best Buy and you see these um, posters that are uh, probably around, um, I don't know, eight and a half by nine in size and they're heavy weighted cardboard and they have them in between each video well one of the um, blockbuster videos closed where I live sometime before the summer and they were throwing out hundreds and hundreds of them right in front of the place my husband was coming out of the bakery next door and he saw them and he knows me with the heavy weighted chipboard and all so he grabbed a handful and he kept walking so when I was rummaging through a few things in my craft room the other day, I found that, that found them, and I was like, "What can I do with this?" I was going to make a book, and I said, "Oh, I know what I can do. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a keepsake book for my husband for Valentine's Day." So that's exactly what I've done here. I took that heavy weighted chipboard and I just folded it right in half. Okay. And what I've done was I put a piece of bazeal paper on the inside. I folded it once I was done. And I put on the top, I've been using some of the paper from the uh, Prima, uh, Prima um, Tea Time uh, line. Very, very beautiful papers. Very, very feminine, shabby chic roses. Lots of love. You know, this one has the saying on it when you get married. It's a, it's a very beautiful romantic paper, and I chose the darker one with the, with hearts and this very pale pink and so on, and the roses, and then I have also put that paper on the back so you can see how lovely that is. It's just really, really pretty. Something that my husband would definitely know that I would make for him, and uh, uh, I've also uh, made this look like a book by binding it. When I folded it in half, the chip wool was so thick that it actually left that piece there like that. So I just bound it with a piece of uh, paper left from the cardstock and I used some of the uh, Tim Holtz uh, ink to uh, etch it up to make it look a little worn, a little old. Uh, I just love the way cards that I used to always make a lot and things of this nature but using that the ink. Um, and I think I used the walnut stain on that. Um, I've also used a Tim Holtz uh, piece right here. Uh, this is a keyhole, and you put that in with the, the two brads. But I had done that first before I put the paper down, uh, as well as adding some of the um, some of the seam binding here. Um, and that's just, it's really, really just a very pretty pewter colored um, keyhole charm. It's it's a heavy weighted plated, uh, but it went well with the, the cardboard here. And on the front of this, I had layered three pieces, and I, I hope you can see that over here. There's uh, three pieces of the the uh, cardstock there, one on top of the next. Between doing all the lace and the layering and the beading and the flowers, you really can't see the layering too much. But I saw it. And um, now getting back to the main reason why I'm making this video, these embellishments are all Wild Orchid Crafts. And let me share with you, uh, with the exception to this lace that came from my stash. But this is the very small uh, right here, the small uh, flat back pearls that Wild Orchid Crafts is carrying. They're smaller than the standard larger ones that are used. I'm trying to straighten myself out. I feel backwards with this. And um, just very, very beautiful. I, I, I love using these pearls. I was almost cut myself short on that, but getting back to the flowers. Um, 
I have used, um, I'm trying to look down here, um, I used some of these like uh, two-tone roses and I believe that's the mushroom and cream rose. There's some of these um, foundations here, some uh, beads from my stash and some very, very tiny closed roses in the um, ivory, the lavender and pink. The foundations that are in there are a taupe and a brown. See how I mix my colors? I use pink, lavender, brown, cream, white. It's all mixed in, but I tried to stay in the earthy tones, combining some of those other colors nicely by bringing some of those other flowers in and adding some sparkles to bring it out, but bring it far away from the colors, not not letting it look so hard, the brown. By, see, I use a very small flower, so it's kind of a faint... Uh, faint effect with um, the brown, not a big huge flower next to the lavender flower. So, um, and I've also used that um, uh, that uh, little technique that I've been doing by tearing the flowers off of the main flower and shrinking it down. I had done that on one of these others. I think this is a tea rose. Just stunning, stunning flowers. These leaves are also from Wild Orchid Crafts. See, I'm a little backwards over here. Here, And with the wire underneath, I kind of bent it so it would stand up off the page a little bit. I'm hoping that you can see that. And just on the edges right here, um, I had gently uh, taken the tip of the stickles bottle and just squeezed it so I can only accent the tip of it. I wanted this to look um, a vintage kind of, and I didn't want to go ahead and start getting crazy with lots of sparkles and craziness. So um, I also used... Um, some of this uh, really pretty uh, lace. I just cut a strip and put it underneath the bow, which I also made. It's a very tiny bow, but I wanted these strips to be here. Um, I thought it looked really pretty. Um, this is the, I believe it's the Cameo Beige from Wild Local Craft Seam Binding. And um, I just, I thought that would look pretty, like something flowing down, like kind of one of those vintage dresses with the bows and the little bits of lace. And I also put this in between here. See, the, the back is plain, and so I think I, I'm going to be leaving it that way. And on the inside, uh, what I want to do is I want to write something very personal on one side and perhaps... Um, Put some kind of a piece of fabric in there with a tag with our picture on it. Um, I, I left that portion out of the video because it was going to be very personal. Um, but I did want to share with you that you don't need to have a movie posted and make one of these. Uh, you can simply use a piece of cereal board. Um, if you have Cheerios or Frosted Flakes or whatever cereal that you like to eat, save the box or take it out right now and put in one of those um, those uh, plastic Tupperware containers and get your your box out and cut a piece off, fold it in half, round off the edges with your scissor or your, your round edge punch and uh, just add some paper. Um, to add the paper on here, I, I did not use my ATG gun, which I would have used if I was making a card, but I used the Aileen's Tacky Glue and why I did that was because I was working on the chipboard, and I, I, you know, I'm sure some of you who do these things often enough, like making those mini books, know that when you lay paper down, once you put it down, it doesn't go anywhere. When you use the red tape, or you use the ATG gun or the line tape, um, so with this one, I wanted to get the flowers just in a certain spot. Um, I wanted to make sure that the way that I moved it, it was going to stay that way. And that's what I did when I also added this on and the inside as well because I, I needed to fold this and make sure that it, it went in and, and you can see that it stays really nicely right there. Um, it it kind of goes right into the fold. And I had also etched all the edges with uh, the uh, Tim Holtz ink as well using one of those sponge applicators. You do not need to have one of these um, this is a uh, part of a birthday present that my friend Jan had sent me. Hi, Jan. And um, I thought I would uh, go ahead and use this uh, to make this book lo look a little bit more authentic as it was an actual something that had to be locked up with a safe. Um, I know I have some very small keys floating around, so I may hang a little key over here at some point in time just for that little bit of effect but you can certainly get the keyhole um, 
Tim Holtz uh, Sizzix die, and uh, you can cut out some uh, cereal board or hard card stack of some kind and, and just decorate it on your own. Maybe use some embossing powder to make it look that color or to shine like that. So there's so many different ways that you can do this. And um, the Wild Orchid Craft Flowers adds a whole new look to this project once I added that on along with the pearls. It looked so feminine even though I'm giving this to a man. Um, my husband knows that this is coming from me. I'm not going to make him a manly looking keepsake card and that's what this is. And um, if any of you do make something like this um, and I have inspired you, I would love to see what you came up with. Um, tag me or, um, you know, post it uh, on Facebook and tag me. I'd love to see what you came up with. Um, and um, that's basically it. It was a lot of fun to make. Um, it didn't take uh, 15 minutes to do this. It actually took me uh, a little time because I'm kind of picky when I make things and that's why sometimes I can't do the tutorial. I actually need to know now that I have the iMovie I have to learn how to trim down my videos and then I'll be able to go ahead and do a lot more than I've been doing because I had just purchased a MacBook Pro and it's fully loaded and I can't wait to learn some other things on it and get started with some fun videos to share with you so I hope that you like um, what I had made for uh, my husband for Valentine's Day and um, I hope that you make one for yourself or uh, to give to your mom, your dad, a friend, a sister or even your husband, boyfriend, whatever. Um, it's a lot of fun and they look so nice. It's nice and sturdy so it's really not going anywhere and then you can you know, just uh, tie it up when you're done and uh, make a little bow there and maybe put it in like a plastic or a small gift bag with some paper or something to make it look nice so anyway um, I have more videos that are coming up I'm trying to catch up on a few things that I had uh, that have has fallen behind so I hope you guys are having a wonderful evening and thank you so much for tuning in and I do appreciate all of your comments thanks so much for watching everyone have a great day bye